So I had the opportunity today to look back in some videos and I found uh, Comic Tom 101's top 10 comic books of 2019. It was the year end review. And I decided to, and these were ones that were listed as having great staying power. And I had to go through the list and see how actually accurate are we in the comic book industry. You want to know? Stick around. Welcome back, family. So, like I said, I was going through some videos, uh, looking at stuff actually from last year, and I found uh, there's a lot of year-end videos. And Comic Tom 101 uh, has his hot hot videos every week. Um, he's got a lot of subscribers, a lot, of, and you know, a lot of people watch his show. And he had his top ten for the hottest books for the year 2019 as a year-end review. And I'm getting a visitor here. What do you want? What do you want? And anyway, um, I decided to go through his list and see, as he said, that these 10 books have staying power. They're the ones that are going to be the best long-term investment. Now I'm getting a shorter visitor. <laughs> um, I decided to see, you know, if he was right. And out of the top 10, five have gone up and five have gone down. Now, this is not a knock on Comic Tom, okay? Nobody has a crystal ball. The fact that he, you know, they got 50% right, that's actually pretty decent if you think about it. Uh, if you think about all the books that you and I and everybody else goes to the comics, the LCS, and we see the books on the shelf, the new comics, and we speculate on them. Do we really hit 50% of them going up in value? I don't know. But anyway, I just thought it would be cute to kind of look at them. So uh, let's go through the list and um, see how he did. Okay, coming in at can uh, number 10 is Canto number 1. Now, a lot of people already know at this point that there were a lot of production issues with this book, and the key on this one is your 9.8s because they're very, you know, very far and few between. It didn't have a big production run in the first place, and then the paper quality, and then the transportation issues, and getting a 9.8 is hard enough as it is. So, uh, that, that last year, at, in his video, he reported that 9.8s were selling for $300. Well, right now, they're actually selling for about 405 So, this book has actually gone up, and as we can see, it has st stood the test of time. Uh, this is a definitely, I was surprised, like, I got excited when I saw this. I'm like, if this is number 10, what are the other nine? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> number coming in at number nine was Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 13. Uh, this was still a newer book. Um, it was the first appearance of Billy Morales. Well, I'm glad that we're going to get the entire family in this. But uh, Raws were actually selling for $10 a piece. It was, like I said, too new for grading. And I checked right now, and recently the, the Raws are selling for 15 to 20 So it's almost doubled the price, which I'd like to have 100% return on investment per year on anything that I do. Uh, coming in at number 8, Batman Beyond number 37, which was the first appearance of Batwoman Beyond. Um... 9.8s were selling for $200, and right now 9.8s are selling between 100 and 120. I don't think that Batwoman Beyond is a bad character. I think that this might have actually suffered from the Batwoman TV series, basically lowering interest in the character, you know, anything Batwoman related. Uh, but this obviously, though, that has not held its value. Um, I wonder how Wonder Woman stuff is going to do after the flop that the movie was, but. I think that that character has got a way longer track history for positive things that people let one bad movie slip through. It's sort of like Dark World, you know? Okay, so coming in at number seven, Captain Marvel number eight, first appearance of Star. Now, at the end of 2019, 9.8s were selling for $175. And current listings that have ended are selling for... Anywhere between 90 and 115 for 9.8. So here's another one that has definitely not held its value. Um, sorry. <laughs> number six, Batman, City of Bane, number 77. Uh, this was the death of Alfred. And honestly, I'm sorry, I didn't read the series to know if Alfred has been brought back just like every other time when they kill a character and bring him back. Um, but uh, anyway, 9.8s were selling for $55, which really is a cheap 9.8. It, it really is. I mean, <laughs> Um, 
Currently, 9.8s are selling for $45. They've gotten even cheaper. So this was another miss, unfortunately. Number five, Walking Dead number 191, uh, Death of Rick. Now, at that time, um, 9.8, he was listing, they were saying we're selling for 50 bucks. It was still relatively new, and it was still a high printed book. And I've looked online at recent sales, and they're averaging between $30 and $60 for 9.8s. There was one aberration that's recently sold for $97, and in the heading it says, you know, first print in big bold. I checked the ones that were 30 to 60 they were all first print also. So I think that that person did a little creative text work to fool people into thinking that he had a great book, and that drove the bidding up. Again, guys, you got to watch, you know, don't take anything for granted that you're getting a good buy. Check other listings, check stores, check everything. I've gotten burned on a couple myself where I've overpaid in a bidding war, and it's not a great feeling, okay? And I don't want to see anybody lose any money. But this was another book, unfortunately, that was a miss. Uh, number four on the list was Marvel Comics Presents Number Six. It was the first appearance of Wolverine's Daughter. Um, which actually, she was actually the narrator of issues one through five. But anyway, uh, the 9.8s were selling for $275 because they really thought something was going to be made out of this character. Currently, they're selling between 125 and 188 This is another, another miss. You know, it's dropped half its value already. Um, not to say that they're not going to do something with that character in the future, but I really think that... If they do something with an offspring or uh, of Wolverine, it's going to be X-23. Uh, the character's already established and in the minds of the public, and the books are much more in demand. I think that that would be a better move for the studios. Until such time as they do something with them, don't expect them to do anything with the one from Marvel Comics Presents. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number five, uh, 90, 95, first appearance of Jenica, came in at number three for the year. And this one, we all do know that has gone up. But not as much as you might think. At the end of 2019, 9.8s were selling for 150. They're currently selling for about 165. Still a great book. Okay, it's gone up. It's better than go up than down. I mean, I've, I don't I have a slow in, uh, incline than a slow decline. Um, this character still can be developed further. Turtles are super hot right now. This was, in my opinion, a, a decent uh, recommendation to pick up. Number two, and I'm sorry, I didn't, I don't even, still don't know anything about this one. Uh, num, Naomi, number one. Uh, it was a six-part series. Uh, turned out she was a, a, one of the lanterns, and 9.8s were selling for 145 Currently, they're selling for about 155 Again, another slow mover, but in the right direction. If you're a fan of this character and you picked it up, good for you. If you're not and you want to look into it, uh, you might want to look into it uh, digitally or read the story and then decide if you want to pick it up. I don't know anything about the character to give you any information on it. I'm sorry. Number one, and this one was a big one, okay, was the Walmart Detective Comics number one, the limited print edition. Raws were selling at the, uh, the end of 2019 for 35 to $40, and currently Raws are selling for about $125. And yeah, they, they, this one is tripled in price, quadrupled almost, and just absolutely belongs to be number one. But that's uh, where <laughs> the top 10 ended up. So as you can see, there is no crystal ball. We don't all know exactly what we're talking about. We, we try to take the best information that we can gather from other sources and use our own deductive reasoning and try to pass on helpful information to you. Sometimes we're going to hit, sometimes we're going to miss. I'm glad for the times we hit. I'm, up, I'm sorry for the times we miss. But in the end, if you're collecting something that you truly enjoy, that you love yourself, um, I'll give you my example. Is my Black Panther seven uh, graded 7.0. I got into a bidding war on that one, and I overpaid. When, when the bidding was over, the guy immediately messaged me, thank you so much, thank you so much, I'll get this off right away, it's going to be double wrapped, and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, boy, that guy's really excited for a, a comic book, you know, it's okay. Thank you, you're welcome. And I decided to look, and there were other people with 7.5s and 8s with a buy it now for less than what I had just bid the, the dang book up to. <laughs> But it was a learning experience for me. I think it cost me an extra 20 bucks. 
but it's Black Panther number one. I love the book, so I don't feel bad. Okay, if if I if I, if I had spent money on say Naomi, and I had no at attachment to the character, and the book went down, I'd feel horrible because I'm like you know it, I lost money and I don't even like the book. Okay, I lost twenty bucks, but still Black Panther number one. It's cool. I love it. Okay, so there's always collect what you love. It's comic books. This is not meant to be your retirement fund. It might be, okay, and I hope it works for you, but it might not be. Other than that, uh, here, here comes trouble. <laughs> and, um, if you're enjoying the hobby and you found this information helpful, which I hope you did, uh, click that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, click on notifications, and uh, everybody have a wonderful, safe day, and as always, I'm out.